All right, and we are in week three of my study abroad trip. Um, day 14, we actually started out um, the week in Camden Market. It was so busy, but very fun. We got to look at all these little shops. I got some goodies for my friends and family. Very excited about that. And we saw buskers again, but there was somebody else there that was definitely stealing the show. I mean, look at him stomp around. He was working the crowd too. It's hard to work in the round, but this guy was playing every angle. He was a star. Honestly, stole this guy's thunder. I wish he had a hat. I'd throw a few, few uh, dollars in there or pounds. And we saw the play that goes wrong, which is so funny. Like, if you're into theater at all, or any sort of production, I feel like this is a show you need to see because everything does go wrong that could go wrong in a show. So it was really funny to watch. Um, After watching that show, we did need a debrief though. So we went back to O'Neill's and we were able to get much closer to the band this time. And let me just say, these guys really, really loved the attention. Look at them, they're eating it up. Day 15, we started off with a tour of the National Theater. We had to wear these little hard hats because we were walking through some like uh, construction areas. We got to see the background where all the props and the sets are made and it was weird seeing just how close everything was together. I think the coolest part was seeing this room where they paint these giant landscapes. That evening, we went to go see Phantom of the Opera, which was incredible. Tuesday, day 16, we went on a boat ride to Hampton Court. Hey guys, Hello. welcome to the Royal Caribbean. It's me, Tori, your tour guide. Today, I'll be taking you on a journey to the Atlantic Ocean. Pacific? Pacific. Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> we, we go into the ocean. Right here we have the Vivace boat. I did. I did. Next, yeah, I'm next, next door we have the Queen of Hearts boat. Uh, and we have the Genie. Oh, you get the point. Lots of boats. Lots of boats. I'm taking out a vlog for a second to interview our, <laughs> our vlogger, Tatum. Say hello. Hello. How are you enjoying your time here so far? I'm a little bit scared of boats, but this one isn't too bad. I'm doing my monologue, <laughs> learning. I've got to about there. Oh, I've got all of that. But then I know this, too. <laughs> you got this, Tatum. Thank believe. you. Thank you, Kong. Kong has got a steady ass hand. Coming into the Hampton Court Palace, we found a door that was Tiffany size, which was fun. Wait, can you lower it down to make me look not that short? Okay. <laughs> I got you, Mama. Just slay. Slay. We 
got to see this weapon room. And we got to see old thrones and everywhere where these royals were actually living. Like, these were the quarters where they just resided, which was weird. Um, so we saw some sort of thrones, and then we saw other kinds of thrones. And the really fun area was outside. We went through this maze and I let us for one turn and we went immediately to a dead end. But then my friend Anne started leading and she did not make a single wrong turn. So we're gonna follow her forever now. We made it to the inside and we got to pose with a little picture. I saw this tree and even the trees looked royal. It was kind of crazy. The inside looked like marble. And that evening we galloped on over back to the National Theater to watch Dixon and Daughters, which I loved. We went back and we all started studying for our finals. I cannot describe to you guys the show that we saw this evening. It was unreal. I'm talking you walk in, you get put- I have no footage from it because they make you lock your phone in like a little pocket basically. Um, you walk in, they give you a mask, and you're walking through a warehouse. And it was- there were no words, there's different acting areas, and they're almost like dancers doing these movement pieces, but they interact with each other. It was like, you can come in and you can leave whenever you want. You can stay as long as you want, but you end up usually following like one person. And I mean, the first person I was following in there, he took a girl that was in the very front of our group, brought her into um, a shed, looked at all of us before leaving, brings her in, shuts the door, and then locks it. I have no idea where that girl went. I had to find a new character. It was just, I've never been a part of something so immersive and weird and experimental. Um, Punch Drunk was my favorite thing that we've seen so far. I didn't, or I got a program, but I, of all things to leave in London, have left that. But alas, that is all right. We progress. Thursday and Friday, I actually don't have a lot of footage for. Um, we spent these days doing our final projects in front of the class. And it was so cool to see all the different kinds of projects and see people like my friend Kong, who is an English major, really put himself out there and go out like far outside of his comfort zone. My friend Allison, who made this amazing painting of Macbeth, which I shouldn't say, but we're not in a theater, so. And of course, all of the actresses and actors. So tell me, my liege, 
What blessings have I here alive that I should fear to die? Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to toot my horn for a second. Um, uh, my friend Tiffany, I know her. I don't know if anybody saw um, American Idiot, but she was somebody I had the privilege of working with, and she played a character called Extraordinary Girl, so I feel like I know her voice somewhat. And I told her the song she should perform, because they had to pick, if you're gonna perform a song, it has to be either, you know, written by a British composer or somebody in the UK, so I knew of somebody, and I remember seeing this musical once, and so I was excited to ask her if she wanted to do it, and she loved the song and learned it. I feel like Tiffany is somebody that the Shakespeare quote, though she be but little, she is fierce, fits perfectly. Um, she's deceptively uh, loud in the best way. that I saw during these final presentations was a treat. Um, I'm gonna miss it a lot. I am now from the hotel room in Poland, so I'm having new adventures here, but the experience in London was exhausting, but just extraordinary. I've never um, been exposed to so many different kinds of theater and art so I'm incredibly grateful for the time I got to spend there and I'm looking forward to hopefully going back one day um, but now we are in Poland and I will update you on how Polish adventures go because I can't read any signs so I'm having to figure it out um, all right I'll see you then <laughs>